Hey guys, Nunun dude, so I would like to make a little let's let's play series. Uh, I want to play through Critician Clank because this is like one of my childhood games. And people keep shit talking, like the story, the game, and I have nothing but good memories. So I'm kind of surprised to hear that people just really hate it, you know? Which is also funny because the Ratchet Clank series has never had a good story, if I'm being honest. Only the first one from what I've played. You know, I've played the PlayStation 2 ones, the PSP ones. Most of the PlayStation 3 ones, except for Quest for Booty, and none of the PlayStation 4 ones. So people saying that it's a bad game, and this and that, it just kind of puzzles me, because Ratchet & Clank has never had a good story. Like, it's mostly carried out by its gameplay, and it's mostly carried by some of the characters, like Nefarious or Quark and, and whatnot. So, it's gonna be kind of interesting to go back and play this game and see if what people say is true or not, or if they're just exaggerating. So I'm, I'm really excited to just go back and play this game and see how it holds up. Because, you know, as I said, I have nothing but good memories from this game. Anyway, subtitles, I guess. Let's turn it on. Um, okay, cool. And also, I would like to make a Let's Play series because I'm kind of tired of the current landscape on YouTube where everything is, like, corporatized, everything is, like, super edited, everything is, like, video essays. So I kind of miss, like, that more genuine era of YouTube with Let's Plays, Filthy Frank, etc. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm a boomer, but I kind of missed that time. And I was like, you know what would be fun? To do a Let's Play series. So, let's do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it. But for now, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to play and, yeah, I'm going to upload this and see if it's fun. See if people like it. Probably not. I'll probably get, like, zero views, but, eh, whatever. At least it will be fun seeing my old game. And, like, ah, the classic Ratchet and Clank loading screen. <laughs> Greetings, Agent Clank. Were you able to protect the Eye of Infinity? No. Not only that, I saw something quite disturbing. Oh, hold on. I'm receiving a news feed from your location. I'll patch it through. Good evening. Galactic Police are reporting the Eye of Infinity, the largest pristine gem in the universe, has been stolen from the Voltaire Museum. In a surprising twist, Galactic Hero Ratchet was caught at the scene of the crime. Crime doesn't pay, huh? Well, I can tell you from experience that being a hero really doesn't pay. I'm still living in a tiny room with some two-bit bag of bolts. But that's gonna change soon. The eye has been taken where no one will ever find it. You may have me now, but there hasn't been a prison built that can hold me. This is a sad turn of events for one of the galaxy's foremost heroes. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. Oh, I'm sorry, Agent. I know you and Ratchet are friends. There is no way that was my friend. Run a complete retinal comparison on the news image. The ID is positive. That was Ratchet. Agent, there's no time to waste. I need you to re-enter the museum and find out where the eye has been taken. Inside the museum, you'll find robot security guards, tank bots, and guard dogs. There are also several invisible laser traps and alarm systems. The eye was kept in this case. Make your way to the case and search for anything that might give you an idea of the eye's whereabouts. I know this has become personal for you, but we believe this theft is part of a larger plan. It's imperative that you remain objective and complete the mission. I understand. I will report back with my findings. Remember, Agent, I've got my eye on you. Okay, uh, so, <laughs> starting off, a lot of things don't make sense. Like, shouldn't 
Ratchet and Clank keep in contact with each other, like because they're like besties and whatnot. So it, it's kind of hard to believe that like you would just get away from Clank and just commit crime. Obviously, we know the reason why this happens. Uh, I have played the game. Okay, go down. Shut up, woman. To punch. Anyway, um, yeah, so like it, it kind of doesn't make sense, but I mean, whatever. Uh, it's kind of like it, it kind of doesn't make really a lot of sense. So I, I guess the story, but yeah, it's not. Eh, it's it's kind of weird, kind of contrived, and very convenient, I would say. But I don't know. We we'll see what happens. Also, like at least the presentation and whatnot is very faithful. You know, like the. Infobots kind of section, so to say, and also um, like the presentation itself. I don't know it, it's very reminiscent of um, like the rest, like the, the rest of the series. You know, I think they did a pretty good job, if I'm being honest. And for a PSP game itself, it's like it's kind of cool because I was actually just playing Valkyrie Chronicles 3, and I don't know, like uh, the PSP has like a lot of limitations, and a lot of the games like were 2D. So to play a game like this, where it's like fully 3D, fully 3D cutscenes, it's kind of impressive, I have to say. From what I remember, this game had some really cool levels. Uh, and I actually played, uh, from my old save file, I was like in the graveyard uh, level, spaceship graveyard. And yeah, it was pretty impressive, because for a PSP game, even though the camera is like fucking zoomed into fucking Clank's butt butthole, it's pretty good. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, honestly. But yeah, the story is a bit eh. Anyway. Let's just make her way here. But yeah, this camera is kind of weird. And like the subtitles itself. Like, dude, the fucking subtitles are just giants. Because keep in mind, right? This is supposed to be played on a PSP. And the PSP screen is like, what? Fucking tiny as hell. So, like, 12 year cutscenes like take half of the screen. Like, Jesus, man. Anyway. Also, isn't it kind of funny? Like the, the guard just spotted us, and yet there's like there's like no one um, coming after us. Also, from what I remember, this game has like a lot of problems with weapon variety. Um, there's like not a lot of not a lot of weapons for Clank, which is kind of odd. Because I feel like if they really wanted to make this game better, all they had to do was just I don't know, just add more weapons. It's, it's so like obviously like they're following the Wretched and Clank tree like whole secret agent thing um, so I don't know it, 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 it's felt they had like so many opportunities to make some like really cool weapons and yet we have a shortage of them you know it, it, it's quite odd and I feel like they could have saved this game if only we had more weapons and more clank sections and no gadget bot sections because like my god if there's one thing I remember as being like fucking awful was the gadget bot sections like holy fuck I don't want to do that oh shit Rough. Anyway, but yeah, like I'm, I'm surprised. I have to say, this game has aged very well. I would say, I think the graphics look really decent. Uh, obviously, like not amazing, but for a PSP game, you have to remember, like, go look at Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker and a lot of like 3D games for the PSP, and then you go, you're gonna see like how blessed you actually are to have a game like this. Like, I am, I am pleasantly surprised. The story is a bit iffy from what I've seen, but everything else is just. Phenomenal, like presentation wise, pretty good. Obviously, a bit simplistic, just kind of like whacking the dudes and doing this like very awful salt section, but I can just avoid it. I'm just doing it so I can get the points. Because on the top screen, you have like health that. Sorry, you have like an XP bar that actually increases your health, so that's pretty cool, I think. There you go. 15, yes. Also, I remember like, <gasps> yo, <laughs> dude, dude, ah. dude, I have so many good memories. Agency rewards agents that complete their missions with stealth and secrecy. Yeah, all right. Sneak by your enemies and get bonus nanotech for you and your weapons. Okay, woman, shut up. But yeah, that she she basically explained what I said. Um, but yeah, if you go here, like there was a, a bolt for skins. That's one of the things I don't like about the this game, though. Anyway, let's see. You can unlock additional, okay, skin, congratulations. Yeah, because like I also have the Resident Clank size mattress save file. I also have it on my 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 thing, because funnily enough, I still have like my save data, all of it, from my PSP days back when I was a kid in 2008. So, yeah, I do, I did play size mattress as well, 
Anyway, what was I saying? I have HDD, sorry. But uh, yeah, back then, if you have like the uh, chump boots, you can get some bolts. And what I don't like about the future games is that the the fucking bolts are like only used to like get skins. And I'm just like, I liked it. I like customization in games. Because if this was like a modern game, you would have to pay like fucking 99 million billion gajillion dollars. So having this is kind of cool. But I, I kind of prefer if you have a different type of currency, like two collectibles. You know what I'm saying? Where one unlocks weapon modifications like in Ratchet and Clank 2 and one, so I don't know. But it's it's good, it's fine I guess. Anyway, I think I can do a stealth. No 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Wait, I think my analog stick is actually broken. Cause like I'm moving, but it slows down on the right. Oh god. Don't tell me my analog stick is fucked. Let me mess around with a little bit. I mean, I've had this controller for like fucking million years now at this point, so I guess understandable. Anyway, I wanted to do like a stealth takedown, but I'm not sure if I unlocked it yet. I wanna see. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm dumb. I wanted to do like a stealth takedown, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Though I have no idea how I'm gonna like get past these guards now. Oh my god. But, like, look! Why do people hate this game? I, I, look, the presentation is good, it reminds me of Sly Cooper. Like, they also have the guards with, like, the fucking flashlights. Don't they? Like, why do people hate this? Oh, man, I'm, I'm like... Oh, I'm having so many memories. Okay. No, you know what? Maybe if I let him kill me, it's gonna be better, because, like, I can re redo this section. Come on. Oh, well. <laughs> one of their buddies. Okay, I'm, I'm back here. But yeah, like, it, it's so weird why people hate it. Like, I'm really liking this. What the fuck? Oh, this, uh, here again? Ah, oh, fine. I mean, I guess these get more, more bolts. Come on, doggy. What animations? The details of the enemies, the designs? It's very faithful, man, from what I'm seeing. I think I'm repeating myself, I, I don't know, like, I'm just fascinated, like, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, like, my mind is just, like, nostalgia, and, this is, and like, just, I'm also surprised at how competent uh, this game is, giving a very good first impression. Also, damn, they're fucking blind. Also, another thing I want to exemplify is, if you, I remember, you can pretend to be a statue, and you can also hide in the environment in the first level, I'm not sure if this also happens for the rest of, it, of the game, I don't remember, but look at this. Like, motherfucker only has like fucking two leaves on his face. Like, there's, a, there's like a lot of charm and a lot of heart in this game. And yeah, my analog stick is fucked. Let me... Let me try and fix it. Yeah, like, did you notice? Like, it kind of slows down. If I put it on the left side. Eh, whatever. But yeah, like, they, they, they do force you to, like, do this little set stealth section. Um, so yeah. Also, this is what I was talking about, I just remember. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. So cool. And now if they, like, puts the flashlight on you, they can't see you. Anyway. So yeah, pretty good first impression also. Dude, how cool is that? This is a PSP game, like, what the hell? This is a fucking PSP game, bro, what? Ah, whatever. And also, if you guys want, I might even do like a little uh, review on this. I'm not exactly sure. Because I kind of wanted to like, play this game, and after I finish it, or, like, after playing it for a while, I'll do, like, a first impression, or even a review if I do finish it. Because, uh, as I said, like, I want to talk about the points that, like, people make when they're talking about this game. And I kind of also want to showcase, like, the strong suits. So, I don't know. Face a ledge to grab it. From there you can jump again, or move sideways by pressing the Also, another thing I enjoy is, like, look, super fast. I think the... Oh, fuck, I'm retarded. 
But yeah, like, I think the other Ratchet & Clank games, uh, like, you were pretty slow, but... Yeah, they actually sped it up, nice. You can move the analog stick left or right to sidle while hanging okay, from nice. ledges. Because as like I played PlayStation 2 games. This is an agency drop box. Okay. I wonder what is in it. I know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I forgot my point. I have a GG. <laughs> Fuck me. Anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I played PSP games, uh played PlayStation 2 games. I played a bit of Deadlock, but I didn't finish it. Uh played a third one. Except for Quest for Booty, and yeah, I think that's it. None of them had a good story, by the way. <laughs> oh, so we have a first weapon. The tie rank. It's actually a really fun weapon, I actually really enjoy the... The tank. Okay, so... taking those security tanks out with your experimental tie rank unit. Press circle to throw a tie. Use triangle for quick select. okay. There you go. Also, you have the same, like, gameplay where you attack, dodge... And yeah, pretty faithful for a PSP game. See? Uh, like, so in this game, uh, another criticism I've seen people lambast at it is the, uh, like, controls. So if you do the analog stick, you walk normally, as you can see here, except me, because my analog stick is fucked. Um, but if you, like, press the uh, D-pads, you can just s uh, strafe. I heard people say it's like a bad system, and I'm just kind of confused because, again, this is a PSP game. You didn't have a second analog stick, so for them to actually like come up with like a really comfortable system, at least in my opinion, is kind of impressive because the way it works is obviously jump, X, square attack, circle, shoots, buzz. What you do here is you press the L and R button to move the cameras, and then combine that with like the direction, directional pads, and you can just do like this. I don't know. I think the game... I don't know. I, people complaining about the controls are fucking stupid because I think it plays really good. I don't I don't get the issue, honestly. Like, I can move comfortably well. But yeah, like, that camera is like, too zoomed in. Can I change that? Uh, camera... Oh, no, you can't. Damn. That's fucked up. It kind of bothers me, but it, whatever. But yeah, look at this. The moon? Ah, oh, dude, it's just so... Bro, this is a PSP game, what the fuck? Also, guys, let me know if my commentary is good. I, I think I repeat a few things because of HDHD, so... If that does happen, please let me know. I'll just go ahead and, like... Um, stop it. I I'll try to edit my, my video a bit more. Anyway, so, this is another thing I remember from the game. Uh, so, in this game... You have like this little section where you can kind of read on the lore of the game and like some little jokes like for example the iBots, 3000 unique life cycle revolves around posting pictures to social networking sites and living in name comments. So they kind of like do this little, little thing where they give the game more of like character. Like look at this, they didn't have to do it but they decided to do so. Kind of like talking about social media. Like people shitting on this game, wow they predicted it, wow. Anyway. This tipping bird robot was responsible for many revolutionary advances, from Zen meditation to perpetual motion. Okay, cool. Because like this is unique for this game. Like they created this part specifically for the game, so it's kind of cool. Like, is this a toaster? What is this? Freaking toaster! What is this then? What? Oh, I love it. This is this a calculator? What, what is this? <laughs> Guys, post on the chats. Or comment what the fuck this is. I am very curious. Anyway, just gonna break some things. Um, to get some points. And These ancient silicon etchings provide clues as to the culture of our ancestors. Only 10 transistors. Huh? What's such poetry? Ah, yes. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, new weapon. It's kind of cool. Like, they're like... Kind of keeping. Pen allows you okay. to defeat automated security systems like lasers and cameras. Fire the pen at the cameras or laser emitters to quietly deactivate them. So yeah, uh, they're essentially keeping with the uh, spy team. I think that's pretty impressive. I really like the the vibe of the game. It's like so corny, but it's so, so charming. I really like it. So yeah, like for example, this is a tie ring, which is like, ah, I am an innocent gentleman, and then it's like, prepare to die, bitch. 
And then you have a pen, which is just like... Yeah, apparently for writing, but it's not for writing, it's for blacking. Oh yeah, that doesn't make sense. Also, I remember there was like a... Shut up, women! Bish. Yeah, okay, they're teaching about the, the stealth takedown. Anyway, I remember there was like a... A gold bolt somewhere. Oh, there it is, look. You need the boots though, like, they get, like I think you get the boots at the end of this level, actually. Oh, so this is another thing that people don't like. Let's see if it's bad. Oh, okay, yeah. I can see this getting old. But I can just do this. Speed it up. With my... Technology machine. Yeah, look. <laughs> this game is so cool, bro. I love this so much. PSP game, again. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but... What? Because, like, I'm, I'm remembering all the PSP games I've played, and, like, I played Valkyrie Chronicles recently, as I said, and it's like... The third game is, like, so limited by the PSP, so how the fuck did they manage to do this? Like, what? It's fucking... Magicians, fucking wizards. To navigate without help. Use your blackout pen to knock out a few of those laser emitters to get past. Anyway, so yeah, now I'm gonna use this. And I like I wanna read all the lore things. As I said, like I wanna read all the little like little things. Because they're very fun. Also, I don't think you know what? No, let's just do this. This is more fun. Cause like, I wanna level up this weapon, because like, if you haven't played the other Ratchet and Clank games, uh, you can actually level up your weapon, and yeah, uh, I think they did a good job here, but I remember in New Game Plus, it's so difficult to like, level up your stuff, it's just, too. Anyway, these fossilized weapons predate laser technology, and were likely crafted during the grim days of the monster truck era. What? Ah, look at me, I'm so quirky and funny. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit cringe, but like, it kind of gives charm to the game, so I'll let it pass. Okay, it's just this once. Anyway, what is this? I don't think there was anything monster truck related from that. Like, we have like a little weird pistol. And the carpet? The fuck? What is this? Tank treads, maybe? Chat, you gotta tell me what the fuck exactly is this. The laser sight on the stone axe is a classic example of robotics improving on organic technology. And yet somehow still missing the points. <laughs> what, so like, they have a fucking axe weapon? And then they have like a fucking laser sight for accuracy? Okay. That's cool, I like that. And yeah, this game is like filled with like a lot of charm. My god. You know, let me just fucking come on these little things. Oh yeah, I forgot the plans. I'm going to touch grass, guys. Look. <laughs> ah, I love grass. Okay, so... Let me just get the little, little thing. I'm just going to... Wait, do I get XP from these? I, again, I, like, I think I could, like, just stealth it. But I don't exactly remember what's the benefits. Honestly. I think you get like m like a skill point or something. Uh, for those who don't know, skill points are this are like achievements before achievements were a thing. Uh, wait, this was made in two thousand and eight, so maybe uh, whatever. The point is, skill points are something that is like ubiquitous with Ratchet and Clank series because it's they've had it for quite a while. So yeah, they brought it back beautifully in this game. Anyway, the fuck, giant robot. I'm gonna post this on Reddit. Robot cavemen first involved from ball bearings and springs, but soon found an ecological niche in customer service call centers. Okay, but like maybe there are like some references that I'm not like really sure of. Again, if you play this game, do let me know. What else? Oh, I remember this. This is like the optional scene. Like, for example, if you like don't step on these things, you can just pass over here. See? But if you get attacked, that blackout pen will allow you to infiltrate almost okay. any location. <laughs> but the dark matter it runs on is extremely rare. Look for the special crates that contain it. Anyway, apparently it's rare. Like I remember, like yeah, it's kind of rare. You don't usually get a lot of it in later levels. Anyway, but yeah, if you like step on that, 
uh, they like they will sound the alarm and then like dogs are gonna come out to and like bite your nutsack or something. You know the first robot hands look articulation lagged, sorry, but their constant thumbs up help the robots make peace with their neighbors. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, hello neighbor, and it's just like thumbs up. Okay, that, that, that's that's kind of cool. I like that. What about this one? This cranial model reappears often throughout history and has proven particularly appealing to teenagers and other key demographics. Wait, are they like referencing like Clank's design? Like, I, I don't know why he has his mouth open. Yeah, maybe a reference to, like people liking Clank's design or something, I don't fucking know. Anyway, go on. And now dogs come out of there. Also, I like this weapon a lot. It's one of like the most unique weapons from Ratchet and Clank, I think, because you kind of like bounces off your enemies. It kind of reminds you of like that saw blade weapon from, was it Tools of Destruction? I think the PlayStation 2 games also added, but like I don't remember. It's been a while, as I said. But yeah, guys, as I said, like I'm not gonna go for skill points. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna like level up my weapons and then we'll see what happens. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, that's it. Oh, so yeah, I'll just I'll do this and then I'll like buy some uh, some ammo. I'm gonna show you like the buying station. It's really fun. Get whacked, bitch! Okay, so if you go. This phone booth is really a well disguised agency vendor. There you go. Thank you, uh, interrupting lady. <laughs> so yeah, uh, again, keeping with the uh, spy team of this game, you can do this. Ta -da. And then you can just like buy new weapons and all of that. It's pretty cool. I like it. But I do remember that this game, like fuck me, like the the economy is completely fucked. This is a, a new move for Clank. It's kind of pointless because you know you you don't you don't want to do melee but attacks. You want to rely on your weapons. These are also kind of pointless. These are just like fucking boxing gloves. So I don't know. Not very good, from what I remember. As I said, like, this game lacks, like, weapon variety, and that's, like, the one thing that just, man, really brings this game down. Anyway, so I'm gonna end the video here. Oh, wait, wait, I'll, I'll wait until, um, the, the, the checkpoint. Anyway, let's kill this guy. There you go. Like, do these bots not have, like, any communications or something? Like, what? Oh, so yeah, I need the jump boots. I need the double jump. No, you know what? No, I'll end here. I think, like, I don't have to wait for the skill points. Or, like, sorry, for the checkpoints. I can just, like, do a safe state, so. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, and... Yeah. I'm kind of excited to continue this series because this game is really surprising me. I'm really enjoying it. Like, a really strong first impression. I really want to continue playing it and see if it holds up because, so far, amazing impression. Quickly, one of my favorite games. Just, man. I am reminded why, as a kid, I really enjoy the game. So, yeah. Give it a like, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.